Welcome back, everybody, to The Longest Journey, where we last left off, we answered the questions about the four uh, tales. All of them were pretty interesting. Um, well, the last one I didn't pay too much attention to that we listened to, the tale of winds, because that one was just the, uh, the story of Icarus to me. But uh, the other three were, were pretty interesting to me, especially the first one we listened to, as I've been saying, that one. Oh, man, that one hits too close to home. Anyway, into the castle. We gotta go talk to the teller. What's that on your head? And your hair? Come closer, human. That's the plan. Closer. I cannot see your face. Closer still. Come sit here by me. There we go. There you are. <laughs> you see, my eyes are not what they used to be. Ages ago, I could spot a ladybug crawling up a straw of grass from 15 tree lengths up. Now, I have a hard time seeing my supper. But my ears, balance be praised, my ears, they are as good as ever. I could hear you outside, learning the tales my children tell. You are a good listener and a fast learner. They were interesting stories and your people told them well. <clears throat> that they is what indeed. we do. The Elation are the keepers of the tales and I am their teller, the one who must know all the tales told since the day we came to this world. How can you do that? How can you remember every story ever told? The secret is to the tell them would often be and to tell them in your own words, not the words of your ancestors. Doesn't that mean that the stories change with every generation? Yes, as all tales must. Change is important. Otherwise, the tales will have no meaning to us. They will just be words. And we do not care about the words. We care about what the words tell us. Ah. So then... It's a really, really long game of broken telephone then. So maybe these stories are a little bit exaggerated now and they've been changed. And then there's the odd little thing here that's not really what it what it is. But yeah. How long have you people been telling these stories? How long have your people been telling stories? Why did I repeat that? Since the beginning, human. Since we came to this world a long, long time ago. You're not from Earth? From Arcadia? Now, according to our tales, we came on a great wind before the divide, when the earth was one and humans had yet to learn of magic and science. But we were a different people then, and the tales we tell from that time are vague and incomplete. Like myths and legends, the younger relation pay little attention to these tales. Sometimes I worry they will be lost with me, these tales. And I am getting old, very old. Getting time to uh, find a successor, I guess. I came to you to find answers to some important questions. Ask, and I will try my best to answer. You ever hear of a dragon that lives underneath the sea? Have you heard of an ancient god or dragon that lives beneath the sea? Once, long ago, when my people lived in harmony with the Merim, there were stories of an old god hey, worshipped so you know by that. the Merim who resided deep in the darkest depths of the ocean. Ugh. According to legend, the old god had once brought the Merim into their realm, into the ocean, and he was now sleeping, resting, before the journey back. Back where? to a great ocean amongst the stars. When the time came, he would gather the Merim and bring them home with him, back to their world, to their ocean. Strangely enough, we have a similar tale. It is said that the great wind that brought us here will someday return to bring us back to a place where we can soar forever on warm winds. Like heaven. In a way, perhaps. 
but without the need for any of us to die. The great wind will just sweep us up and carry us away. Every evening before I go to sleep, I recite this tale to myself. It is a comforting one. Hmm. Uh, I suppose as long as you can find comfort. What do you know about the dry kin? The kin are numbered four. Or so our tales tell. Two in this world, two in the other. The mirror world. The white and the blue, the red and the green. Do you know where they are? No, the tales never say. The kin are elusive. They keep to themselves. I have never seen one myself, and I doubt any of my kind has. The tales do say that our past and our future are tied to the fate of the kin. But how, I would not pretend to know. This is one tale that is yet to be told. Do you know anything about the Guardian's realm? This is human business. Would you not know more than I? Your people are the keepers yeah, of the there. tales. You remember more than humankind has forgotten. Please, I need to hear what you know. That is very little. The Guardian's realm is home to the Guardian in his tower. No one is permitted within except the Guardian who was, the Guardian who is, and the Guardian who will be. Eh. And of course the Dryak kin, who were instrumental in its making. Oh, well, guess who's next in line for that? Have you ever heard of the that? existence of a hidden entrance to his realm? Oh yes, yes, I have heard tell of such a thing, though I would not know where it is. I gather that one of the kin may be able to tell you. Thank you, I don't have any more questions. I am glad I could help you with some answers. I'm the Windbringer. I know you are. <laughs> it's strange to me to hear those words spoken. I did not think they would be in my lifetime. Yeah, the other but faction said the same thing. Standing in front of me as real as the sky is blue. I'm sorry I have to ask, but what is it that the Windbringer is supposed to do for you? I did not expect you to walk in here and have all the answers, child. The balance has both blessed you and cursed you, and it has sent you here to do what it wills. The Windbringer mm -hmm. is said to be the idea. first sign of the great wind that will take us away from here. For a long time, the Elation have lost the strength they used to have. Our bones have become weak, and our wings fragile. Where we used to be able to soar for days on strong winds, we are now using our legs to walk rather than fly. Why this is, we do not know. Ten Yen! You know of the reason for this? I'm just guessing, but it makes sense. Go on. The tales also say that the Windbringer will unite us with our past and end the age-old strife. I know. You must make peace and be reunited with the Marum. You share a common ancestry. I have always thought we did. The tales were too similar, the signs clear. But my people, they... They will have a difficult time understanding why and how this can be. If you don't, both the Elation and the Marum will die out. When war broke out between your people, and you were forced to move up into the mountains, it compromised a precarious symbiosis. A substance called Tanyan was abundant, where the Marum and the Elation lived in close proximity. It brought fish, and heat, and light to both your people. But now, living up in the mountains, your way of life, your diet, your customs and habits, they've all changed. And that's probably the cause of your brittle bones and fragile wings. Then we must make peace with the Marum, and restore the balance between us, so as to strengthen us both and prepare us for the journey that will surely come soon. When our sitting is over, I will speak to my people, and I will elect one representative from the Elation to meet with the Marum in the place of your choosing to open a dialogue. I guess it's time for you to talk to your people, and for me to make arrangements with the Marum. Where do you wish for our meeting to take place, Windbringer? You want me to decide? Um, well, I know. Send your ambassador down to the ancient caves by the beach. 
Inside, there are remnants of an old Alation settlement and a Merim city. It's a good place for your two people to meet, don't you think? Yes. And could you ask if they would bring their half of the stone? The stone? You have the other half? We have held on to it for centuries, knowing that someday it would be of use to the Windbringer. It will, trust me. Then we must make haste and arrangements. It is an important day, so let us not waste light. Go and wait for my ambassador in the caves. So, do I gotta walk all the way over there? There's an old... I it's feel like this. amazing. Hmm. This place is so beautiful. Hey, it's his own. scent of sea and rock and Oh, mist. no, wait, it's the guard. This Never mind. This scent is of home. This was home a long, long time ago, according to the tales. We lived in peace with the wet tail, but with the mirror back then. Now you'll be able to live in peace again. And with the Tan Yan bringing fish to your doorstep. You'll be able to eat well and restore strength to your bones. Soon you might even be able to soar on the winds for days like you used to do. I hope you are right, Windbringer. And I hope that the wit, the mirror, will see the sense in it too. <laughs> they are coming, are they not? Should they be. They said they would. Hush, I hear something. We are hey here, Water Stiller, as was promised. Good. <laughs> Water Stiller. Now, as representatives of your respective peoples, you, the Queen of Amiram City, and you, guard to the Alation Teller, must fulfill the prophecy and join the two parts of the One Stone. We hope that our peoples may be joined again, Alation, and that we may live in peace and prosper. As do we, Merim, and we pledge to do all we can for this to happen. Ooh, finally get to see what they look like. The stone is now whole, Windbringer. And the elation and the mirror will once again be as one. You may take it with you. Still a touching Thank moment. You. The both of you. Come now, April. And we will take you to our sleeping god. May his wisdom guide you and lead you down the right path. Oh man, uh, I, I I got seven minutes left. Let's do this. A deep plunge down below. Imagine we get down here, their dragon's dead. Like, oh, whoops. Feels more like a shell than a rock. Uh, I don't think it's a rock. I think it's alive. It's gonna start rising. It's a large shell. I wonder how deep it goes and what it contains. Oh, okay then. Look and touch the large rock. Uncover the sand in the middle. What the heck is that? It's some kind of organic sensor. Apparently. It's soft and spongy. Hello? Is anybody in there? 
Spooky? Well, I guess it's an invitation of sorts. Is it? Alright, well, in we go. There's air in here, and it's dry. I swear I'm never taking a bath again. <laughs> that looks like an eye. That looks like an eye, and this is creeping the hell out of me. Oh, how much time do I have? Oh, God, you know what? We're getting through, we're getting through this. I don't care what time. I'm, I'm too intrigued. Okay. Um. Inspect the circular object. That front doesn't here. look like a natural protrusion. It's too big and round. Yeah, it's an eye. I can tell you right away. It's an eye. I know you. Oh dear. Yeah. Do not be afraid. I know what you are. Just don't do that. Uh, don't don't drag out the words. You do? Oh god. Yes. Yes. What would you hear? I do not like to be disturbed. I wish to be left alone. I wish to rest until the day of ascension. Oh, sorry, but uh... I need some answers. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I need some answers. Everyone needs answers. Everyone has questions. I am not the oracle. I cannot answer all your questions. I don't expect you to answer all of them, but I was hoping for an answer to at least some of them. Then ask and be gone. I can't really blame him. Looking for a jewel called the Dragon's Eye. There are so many questions. What am I? What do you mean? You said you know what I am. What am I? You do not know. Then it is not I who should teach you about your heritage. You must make this discovery on your own. Uh. Listen, I'm tired, I'm wet, I'm at the bottom of the sea, and I'm breathing with the help of a polyp stuck in my esophagus. <laughs> so just cut the Buddhist bullshit about a journey of self-discovery and answer my question. Please? Your question has already been answered. That is all I will tell you. Your journey began with an answer. It is only now that you know the question. That's so not helpful, but thank you. Okay, uh, what is the day of ascension? What is the day of ascension? The day when the kin return home when my siblings come to me and we rise toward the stars for our journey back to our cradle. This is the day of ascension. So you're
you're going back to... wherever it is you came from? We will. Eventually. When everything is ready. When what's ready? I will not answer that question. It is not necessary for you to know. Fine. Alright, uh... I need to know where I can find the gateway to the Guardian's realm. So you come to me? Yeah. They told me... Well, they as in the few people who could tell me anything at all. They told me that if anyone would know, it'd be you. I know. When the Earth was divided, there was a doorway left open where the tower was built. But it's moved, hasn't it? That spot, when Stark and Arcadia were created, that spot moved somewhere else. Into the sky. Amongst the stars. But where? I knew you were coming. Your journey has not been a quiet one. Even down here, I could hear you. I speak with the dark people. They are my messengers. They have prepared a map for you. With the entrance you are looking for. Woohoo! A map! You knew I was coming and why? Then, okay, I know this is probably a futile question, but why didn't you send the Dark People to me earlier? You could have saved me a lot of time and hard work. Ah, uh, but you were needed. You are afraid of time and hard work. That's not what we meant. No, but it's the principle of it, isn't it? No, it is not. You had prophecies to fulfill. You had a purpose. Bringing my children together in preparation. Oh, April, this it's never as easy as one, two, three. And for that, I thank you. I'm looking for a jewel called the Dragon's Eye. Yes. I have one such jewel. What do we need the jewel again for? I guess that's it. Take it. Just... Are you sure? Take it. It is yours now. It is part of your destiny. I'll just reach in there and grab it. Okay. Tell me if it hurts. Now, I wish to sleep. You said something about a map? The dark people have it. They will meet you. I will bring you to them. What? Now? Yes. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, what are we doing? Hold on. Oh, hello. Whoa. Hey there, guy. Just sailed in here on the back of a dragon. Alien dragon. How's your day been? What you think about all this, you look April? Like a real sailor. Arr, matey. That's not the question I was asking for, but uh, yeah. How about your? How about you, cloaked figure? How, how's your day been? I can't see the face, but I think it's a man—a tall man wearing a 
dark cloak. He's one of the dark people. Whatever they are. Good assumption. Let's talk with him. Thanks for taking me on board. Who are you? Really? Oh, uh, well, I thought you... I mean, didn't the old dragon... Well, I'm April Ryan, from Stark. And I guess you're a dark person. But who are you? That's a very good question. I... I'm just a student. Not anybody special. You are special. Who are you? I'm not. I'm just... <sighs> I'm the Windbringer. I'm the Water Stiller. I'm April Bondu Mbata of the Banda and the Venar Kangang La. I'm a shifter. I will someday become the 13th Guardian, the Protector of the Balance. And I'm April Ryan. This is who I am. Yes, that is who you are. And you are a wave. Hey, who's that guy? Alright, well, talk to you later, guy. Why am I, uh, a wave? You have a purpose. You play an important part in the cosmos. This is going to be a long episode. A wave oh, is someone who propels people and events toward change, towards the future. And that's what I do? You are a wave. There are ripples from your passing, and they spread wide and far. Those ripples will never die down. The worlds will be changed by your journey. Yeah, that's the role of the protagonist. You're telling me that everything I do affects the universe? You cannot escape it. You are a wave. Uh, Ancient Dragon. Map. You got the it? The Ancient Dragon. The blue of the Drag Kin told me you had a map for me. A map of stars, yes. It was made for you in our library and given to me to hold. It is yours now. Keep it well. It is the only one. We're gonna lose that. I'm looking for an ancient stone given to you by the Sentinel, the Fathers. You came for the stone. Of course we have it with us. Our ship would not have been chosen to meet you were it not for the stone we carry with us. Everybody's just waiting around for me to show up, so that they can give me stuff. Who knew adventuring was going to be this easy? Yeah. It will not always be so easy. Of that I can assure you. But here is our stone. We entrust it to you. As we were instructed to do when the fathers first entrusted it to us. Can this ship take me back to Mercuria? I mean, would you mind? We will bring you to Marcuria henceforth. It will take the night, but we will be there at first light. That's fine. Thanks a lot. You are free to rest here, to sleep, while we travel. The flames will keep you warm, but do not move too far away. My brothers are not friendly with outsiders. They do not take kindly to intrusion. I'll keep that in mind. I'm staying right here. Good. Sleep. Well, all right then. <laughs> We're just gonna go sleep on the ground. Chapter 9, Shadows. Um... What's going on here? Hey there, Did guy. Did you sleep? <laughs> Did you sleep? Very comfortably, thanks. Where are we? 
in the Mercuria Harbor. But there are barely any ships here. I do not know why. We must leave you here. We have other business. Carry your wave into the future, April. Whatever that means, I'll try. I got an, like, you know, carry on with your journey, that kind of thing. Where did all the ships go? They're gone. This can't be a good sign. I mean, duh. The city yeah. looks strangely quiet and deserted. And the sky, those are not ordinary clouds. They look more like, like smoke. What's going on here? Uh, I really want to keep, I, I really want to continue. I really want to continue. But I can't, guys. This is uh, this is where I have to end this episode. It's going to be a very long one. Oh boy, this is going to be a long one. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching uh, this week's episodes. And I look forward to getting back to this game uh, the, the next week. The week. You know the week I mean. But anyway, guys. That's going to be all for this week. Thank you all again. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all stay safe and stay healthy.